A dream of mine was realized a few weeks ago when I finished this orange crate label here on the Sterling Commons building on 730 Broadway, Dunedin. This was a great and successful collaboration between the City of Dunedin and the Dunedin's Chambers Cultural and Educational Foundation. This is our first project and uh, hopefully we'd see, I'd like to see more of these. The citrus industry was an important part of Dunedin's history and because of that there are several orange crate labels and this is one of Dunedin's own orange crate labels. Uh, my friend Marcia Goins and I decided in the middle of the night to paint oranges around town just to see what would happen. And fortunately we're not arrested and people kind of took a liking to them so they asked us to paint more of them. And now there are 132 oranges painted around Dunedin. And that has led on to me painting the orange crate label here. So come on down to Sterling Commons, 730 Broadway. The mural is located between Rosie's Tavern, the Dragonfly Garden. And while you're here, go upstairs to see the artists at Sterling Art Studios. Dog Eaton Wall started in May 2010. There are now over, I would say, pretty close to 700 animals. They're all a variety of different pets, anywhere from dogs, cats, sugar gliders, uh, pig, uh, goats, and bunnies. I think, I think, oh, and birds. We have some birds on there too. Literally, people stopped in the streets because they all wanted to be part of this. And that's well, the great thing about Dunedin is it's very accepting of murals in public art. And I have murals in other businesses around town. I paint other murals also. So it, it's a great community uh, project uh, along with the beautification of the city. So uh, it's, been, it's been a great success. One of the great things that came out of this mural is uh, we started a foundation now called Murals for Mutts and you can go to muralsformutts.com for more information. So now we're saving pets one brush stroke at a time. Mm -hmm.